G'day, this is my condensed review regarding a Asus ZenBook 481F. This particular one here I bought as two faulty machines which then I combined. I originally purchased one off eBay for 600 Australian dollars and that was an i5 model with the MX250, RAM removed and SSD removed, no charger and it said not powering. So I thought cool, I'll have a tackle of it, I'd like to expand my field and hopefully get into some micro soldering. I get it to find that it has a liquid damage mainboard, which was not originally mentioned by the seller. It was sold as faulty, but there's a fairly large difference between faulty and liquid damaged. There's a difference between a machine just powering off and turning off versus spilling a drink on it. So that was a tad disappointing. And then I decided, okay, to recoup that money, I'll part it out, sell the screen assembly, sell the fans, sell the battery, sell the the touchpad and the secondary display, which is built into the keyboard, which if you open the key up, you'll see it is a dual screen machine. And with that, I, as I was selling off the parts, I found that ah, there's actually someone selling one of these with the broken lower keyboard, and I had yet to sell the, lo uh, the lower screen and keyboard assembly. So from there I was able to swap that over and build a new machine, or combine it to repair a machine, the second machine I bought for 700 which or was a little bit over what I wanted to pay, but it was a lot better condition and actually functioning compared to the original one that I purchased. So I sold the screen assembly for 300 Essentially, I spent $1,000 on this particular machine, 16 gig of RAM. I swapped in a one terabyte Kingston A2000 NVMe SSD. And it's actually surprising me how useful and how yeah, useful it is. I've been able to play newer games like Counter-Strike Global Offensive on there. At the moment I've been going through older Half-Life games, so Half-Life 1, Blue Shift, and uh, whatever, Team Fortress, no not Team Fortress, Opposing Forces is what I'm currently up to. And I find the battery life on it to be perfectly adequate. Uh, turn it on, use it for a bit, turn it off, turn it on again later, use it for a bit, turn it off. Battery life's been perfectly fine. i found that the secondary screen I've been using for simple stuff like arranging video files for video editing or doing invoicing where I can load up or entering accounts so I could load up everything that I need to enter that I've purchased on AliExpress or something like that put it on the lower screen load up the account software at the top and just go through and enter everything that I need just having that simple secondary screen is quite useful I do wish the top half of it was a touch screen also since just the bottom of it is or the bottom screen is a touch pad but that's something that can be managed, it's all fine. Where I found that the trackpad, even though the trackpad's really bizarre on it, in a bottom right hand corner, I do find it still kind of useful, because I just kind of have it sitting on the edge of my legs, and I just have one hand sliding in the bottom half of this laptop, rather than having my arm distorted over, it can just kind of sit there. So what I mean by that is, for example, I'm using it, and I can just have my hand sitting here, and use the laptop as normal, rather than having to distort it or have it over here. So the condensed keyboard as well, don't really mind the condensed keyboard. It is slightly odd, but at the same time, it is perfectly usable. So I find that this has been fine, that's been fine. Probably my biggest query, or biggest problem, is this section right across here. Where if you're sitting there with it on your knee, it gets quite tiresome having this little triangle digging into your calf. But apart from that, for a thousand dollars, I've been pretty darn happy with this machine overall. So far, I've yeah, taken it to it, taken to it like a duck to water. Granted, I wouldn't have gotten, gotten gotten one of these at full retail price, potentially even second-hand price. I think they still go for about a thousand to fifteen hundred Australian dollars, which for me I would not spend that money. But I went in for a penny, and I went in for a pound, and then I combined one and built one was and repaired one from there. Once I had it repaired, reinstalled it, and so far, so far so good. I've been pretty impressed with it. Granted it is a ZenBook, which is usually Asus's upper class of laptops. The secondary screen, brightness on it's been fine. Probably a bit another complaint though would be the angle of that lower screen is a bit too shallow. I find that it feels like it's barely sitting up. If it was tilted up a bit higher, that'd be much better. I do think on newer versions, the screen itself actually lifts up when you open the laptop. So that does, does resolve that issue. On this current one, it's still there. 
But as I said, I do like that secondary screen, especially for accounts and video editing. Overall, using the Intel QuickSync, uh, video rendering time has been quite, quite quick, quite snappy. Granted, I am only rendering at 1080 at 30 FPS. So for that, it's been just fine. So it was a surprising machine. Probably one of the biggest downfalls or disappointments with it is it doesn't support charging via Type-C. So it doesn't have Thunderbolt, doesn't have Type-C charging. That is a fairly big disappointment, I find, where it does have the Type-C port on the side, but it uses the barrel connector to charge it. It is only a 65 watt charger, so I don't know why they couldn't have implemented it, especially being the upper class of the Zeus laptops. But if you're able to get your hands on one of these and you are doing data, ent uh, data entry or video editing, those kind of tasks would be perfect. I um, haven't really found much in the way of gaming that it's useful for having that secondary screen. Maybe if you're playing an RPG and have the walkthrough down below and had it set as borderless up the top, you might be able to tap and just sl slide down the website as you're playing. Granted, every time you tap it, you have to click back up the top to get the mouse back up there to interact with it. So it was a little bit of jankiness to it, but right now for production side of things, it is quite useful. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the Asus ZenBook Duo UX481F. Catches.